dividing decimals when calculating 4.56 divided by 0 0.2 it is important to remember that the second number the divisor cannot be a decimal in order to change this into a whole number we must multiply by 10 that will give us the number 2 but if you make the divisor 10 times bigger the first number, the number you are dividing into, must also become 10 times bigger. So now the new calculation is 45.6 divided by 2. To calculate this, it is far easier to write it in the alternative way. So 45. 0.6 is the number that we are dividing into, and the 2 goes in front. 2 divided into 4 is 2. 2 divided into 5 is 2 remainder 1. Remember to place the decimal point in. And then 2 divided into 16 is 8. So our final answer is 22.8. In the second example, we must do the same thing. We cannot have the divisor being a decimal, so we must now multiply by 100. This makes the second number a 3. We must also now multiply the number we are dividing into by 100 as well, making this number 14.1. So now our calculation is 14.1 divided by 3. Once again, we can write it in the alternative form. The 3 is in front and the number we are dividing into is under the bracket. 3 into 1 doesn't divide, we carry across the 1. 3 into 14 goes 4 times with a remainder of 2. Remember the decimal place, 3 into 21 goes 7 times. So our answer here is 4.7.